Can we talk broken families for a moment? I know people love to throw that term around. We do it ourselves. And a lot of us struggle with the feeling that we've broke our families with divorce and we have a lot of guilt over that. I get it. I've been there. But if I could offer a different narrative for a moment. Yes, if we go by society standards, we've broken what a perfect family should look like. But haven't we learned as we've gotten older that most things society's taught us are bullshit and fuck the word perfect. What does that even mean anyway? My ex and I are happier than we've ever been. We communicate better. We have a better relationship, mainly because we don't have to communicate or have much of a relationship. Uh, my kids are happier. They have a stepmother who loves them and they love her. She brings things to the table that I never could and gives them things that I never could. And in my opinion, kids can never have too many people who love them. And so with divorce, my family has actually grown. And by whose definition anywhere does a growing family ever equal a bad thing? In fact, I would argue that divorce saved my family. And while divorce is hard and emotional and takes a rebuilding, what good things in life ever come from something that's easy? I'd also argue that families who just happen to be living under the same roof can be just as, if not more, broken. While we may have to redefine our definition of what the perfect family looks like, and repaint our vision of what we thought our future would look like. If, to save my family, I first had to break it, then I'll take it.